Hey everybody, this is Day Trader Rockstar and this is a market radar for Wednesday, June 17th. The first part of this, of course, the radar portion of the uh, the video. The second part is a review of our HPS high probability watch list that goes out to members. So you'll get half of this video or you'll get full of uh, the full thing, depending on where you stand. Uh, but the first thing we're going to talk about, of course, the news coming out of Europe recently about the, the talks breaking down, the Greek talks breaking down. Time is running out. The last uh, last hours are approaching. We have a Eurozone uh, meeting on Thursday. We have the Fed meeting tomorrow. We have the Fed announcement, the FOMC rate decision, which will be no rate decision. But there will be commentary, and uh, Janet Yellen will be speaking. That's typically a bullish scenario. Now, we have the Greek uh, event overhanging us, and today's call was for a move higher. Um, you know, I'm happy about that. You know, I'm happy that, you know, we're, we're taking a look at the markets in a way where we're kind of analyzing the news, you know, being part of news events, being part of the market for the last 20 years, but being part of the markets for the last eight years with you guys, uh, we've seen it all. So we know that when events come in and they get underneath the spotlight, there's going to be eventually, there will be eventually a time where that market news won't affect the, uh, you know, market as you would expect, and that's because it's either being priced in or it's not a big concern anymore. We've been there, done that. We know how to accept it. It's not an unknown. Is, is Greece starting to get on uh, on the market's nerve where they're starting to move back up here and in the face of bad news? I am, I am, you know, optimistic on a bounce in any direction after uh, the Greek um, after Thursday. Now. Do they kick it down the road? Yeah, I would think that's the most likely scenario is they delay payments and maybe continue to push this uh, down the road. And I think that that's a big negative. I mean, I would love to get a Greek exit. Let's just get it over with. We deal with it, with, you know, what we have to deal with. And then from that point on, we'll get back on track. But I don't even think that would be the uh, case. I think the market would be satisfied that, um, you know, it's behind us and would start to... Uh, you know, any pullback would be an opportunity, in a short-term opportunity at that. That's my opinions on on just uh, the Greek news. Um, but going into the radar tomorrow, you know, we had a positive reversal day the other day. Today we had a good follow-through day. Uh, this is technically a, what we call an engulfing pattern, where we, uh, the body encompasses the other, the previous day's body. It's a bullish candle all around. Um, the one thing that uh, shows up as I go over... Uh, during the show, um, if you have time during the day, tune into daytradingradio.com and you can actually see the live uh, broadcast of the show. What I talk about right now is basically what happens and what I talk about throughout the day from 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock, um, unless uh, the market goes to sleep and then we have some fun. But o overall, um, you know, we'd like to break these down on the uh, and just kind of look at what we could have made today. Um, going into this week, I had a very strict uh, rule: is try not to get uh, too involved until the news uh, shakes us. You know, you can see we're probably doing the right thing. Actually, you can take a look at the uh, the daily here. We're kind of tightening up inside of this little falling. Uh, we'll call it a falling wedge for now. Uh, we had a couple down days, a, couple, uh, a, a nice update. Do we get a follow through update tomorrow? Very possible. The 60 minute time frame is the concerning one. It has been a rock star. It's been a rock star performer and up, you know, especially back here when we've been really trending nicely. Each oversold level was very organized. Now it's gotten a little sloppy, uh, but overall, you know, it doesn't take long for that oversold 60 to start to spark this market back up. We just got oversold again, and I could honestly put a circle there and say, you know, you know, we were looking at this. And we put nice bounce back up, but where do we have it again? We have it back into an overbought level. So that's a big concern, you know, for those who pay attention to this type of uh, movement. You have to consider this as, uh, you know, a little concerning. And the other concerning thing is the news. Um, but tomorrow we should know, you know within the first couple hours, um, if we start to flatline up here and we start to move up like this, this is what we call an embedded stochastic, and we look for strength. If we see this crossing back over, well, you know, Anything can happen. We're going to follow that. We're going to break that down in the, the smaller time frames. We'll break it down in the five minute, which has been pretty key recently. I mean, it's been a nice bounce. If we, you know, identify the trend and then look at the oversold levels on the five minute, it's been an opportunity as long as the trend has been our friend. But as you can see, we're kind of just going sideways. Um, this is a situation that I normally called 
I call a stochastic price divergence, where we have a downward um, momentum on the stochastic's five-minute chart. This is a very sh uh, short time frame, yet we have sideways consolidation on the price. Normally, we want to get a move down with the stochastics and move down with the price. Move up with the stochastics, a move up with the price. So when we see that change, that's we diverge from the norm, and this is a positive divergence because the price is not pulling back, and we get oversold enough, we pop higher, and that momentum drives us higher. So a lot of things here, but again, the news is the focus, and you can't just, you have to realize that most of the money in the markets are made on certain times. Uh, it's not every day. This is a great, great week to just kind of sit back like we're doing, follow the markets, follow some setups. Um, there is a couple of good setup. I mean, we have this, I'd love to see how this plays out. We followed the uh, tradeometer today. It's give, given us good signals. Um, but there was some chatter of news out there. It did move the market a little at one point. And, uh, and again, we have that going forward. So that five-minute chart actually lined it up for tomorrow for a possible, very possible, uh, price stochastic divergence uh, signal to the upside. The hourly, again, is a little extended. So we're kind of mixed signals there. That one minute is oversold. We'll see how the futures react tonight. Things really start to get going around two uh, two thirty three o'clock. So if you're if you're up and about, maybe you're out there in Europe or the Far East, you can definitely tune into Day Trading Radio, get a view of the uh, futures at any time. And um, I'm going to be trying to set up the tradeometer for a special preview tomorrow. I'm going to be working on that later today. So keep an eye out for that uh, to be uh, announced. And also, I do a lot of the announcement of those things on Twitter. Um, at you know at sign at day trading radio is our Twitter handle Twitter name day trading radio so if you want to just follow that go right ahead uh, I'll be posting some links there or of course in the room everything gets posted in the room if you're a member of day trading radio and um, so keep an eye out for the uh, tradeometer news later today it's gonna be a, I'm trying to set that up right after I do this watch list so I get a recap on the market radar one minute positive Five-minute positive. Would like to see a, fo a follow-through push just based off of these uh, these two cash charts. And uh, the hourly is extended, so but we can actually get embedded here. So I'm not counting this one out to the upside, but I'm also very cautious. So early morning pop, and then we kind of measure it out and see how everything works off of this. We don't know if there's any news that's going to come out that's going to affect this overnight. So, all you know, again... I'll keep the uh, tradeometer up today. It's just been red hot. It's just, it's it's an amazing tool. I I, I love showing it. I'm very proud of it. So if you want uh, to watch it, I'm going to try to focus on it and kind of uh, spotlight it over the next couple of days, and uh, look for that. So that's it for the uh, market radar segment. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow or any day at eight o'clock. We have our eight twenty news report with the Dixie. And she does a great job of starting us off with a little news. So 8.20 is an important part of the show. That's when we really officially kick it off at 8.20. And we have our opening newscast talking about downgrades, upgrades, up, up, <laughs> upgrades, downgrades. Um, you know, anything that's important in the news that's be discussed. It's a great segment. Tune in for it, 8.20, every day, Eastern Time. And then after that, I pick up. And we talk about stocks, and then we open the market, and we trade. And it's 4 o'clock, and then it's, it's uh, 5 o'clock like I am now, and I'm doing more research. So I'll see you tomorrow morning.